So when you look at the tape on him and you see him play the number one team in the country, UConn, with two first-round picks on that team and another first-round pick, Tyler Collect, who didn't play in the game, and the coach, Shaka Smart, goes to him and says, you're our point guard today against the number one team in the country, UConn, against Dan Hurley and that juggernaut. And he goes out there, he gets 16 points, eight rebounds, two assists, one block, one steal. This guy could be the steal of the draft. And then, of course, yesterday, the Suns were able to acquire Oso Iguodaro. Uh, he is six foot 10, 222 pounds officially for the Suns. Uh, he played four years at Marquette, earned a whole bunch of awards, uh, did some great things. I'm excited about this guy. He's an Arizona native, went to school at Desert Vista High School, uh, led them to a state championship. Yeah. And I think the thing that's most intriguing to me about this guy, because he does have some strengths and weaknesses as a player right now, but he seems like he is so freaking smart. Yes. Like the most intelligent guy. And I think that's going to be one of his um, strong points for the coming into the league. Man, super intelligent, super impressive. When I talk about intelligence, I'm talking about intelligence as a person. But I'm talking about extreme off the charts intelligence as a basketball player. Yeah. Offensively and defensively, his ability to look at sets, look at formations, look at actions, diagnose things quick on offense and defensive end. Um, there aren't too many kids that age at that time in their college careers that I, I see that from. He's just an incredible athlete. I just want to add a couple things. This kid started as a freshman in high school, first time mm -hmm. he ever played basketball. He didn't start, I'm sorry. He didn't start as on the varsity as a freshman, but he played varsity basketball as a freshman. He was first, six First three. time he played basketball. First time he ever played basketball. His parents didn't allow him to play basketball, but he was a soccer and track guy, okay? Comes to high school as a freshman, makes the varsity. Lindsay, he's 6'3 mm -hmm. as a freshman with guard skills. Guess what happened? The kid grew. <laughs> Guess what he didn't lose? His guard skills, right? So when you look at the tape on him and you see him play the number one team in the country, UConn, with two first-round picks on that team and another first-round pick, Tyler Collect, who didn't play in the game. And the coach, Shaka Smart, goes to him and says, you're our point guard today against the number one team in the country, UConn, against Dan Hurley and that juggernaut. And he goes out there, he gets 16 points, eight rebounds, Two assists, one block, one steal. This guy could be the steal of the draft. He's be our people. point center. Yes, he's gonna. He, he's probably gonna be our point center, point forward. And I'm so excited to see him develop. His skills are off the chart, uh, in, intellectually and basketball IQ. Well, it's interesting because Shaka Smart, when he came to Marquette and started working with Oso, he reached out to some of the Denver Nuggets assistants, mm -hmm. talking about how do you utilize Nurk, or excuse me, Jokic. Uh, Nobody's asking about this, this what I said. Uh, how do you utilize Jokic in those situations and tried to figure out how he could use Oso in those kind of ways? Uh, I love that. Like you were talking about, the intelligence is off the charts. We, uh, we had <clears throat> tweeted out a video uh, that had been done uh, with a group online where he's watching plays and he's never seen them before. These are NBA plays, and he's breaking them down on the fly, calling what's going to happen next, and calling the plays. This kid knows ball and understands, while he's playing defense, how to read things in a way that he can anticipate what's coming. He did it at Marquette. He's going to do it in the NBA. That excites the hell out of me. Then he's got this floater yeah. that, he works on, that he's worked on that I think will be a weapon in his arsenal offensively he's a high flyer had one of the highest verticals uh at the combine i believe it was 39 and a half inches had, yeah, the, almost had 40. the best flat-footed yep. vertical at the combine of any player so he's a rim rolling threat as well and he's smart and how he can utilize that you got a guy that you were looking for last year yeah. in, in this offense and i don't want to hear oh he doesn't shoot threes because Derek lively Everybody was all over that kid, right? Yeah. Loved him this year. Reason the reason the Mavs, a big reason the Mavs wound up making the finals. How many threes he shot last year? Tell him, Espo. Two. Yeah. 
two, and he missed both of them. Yeah. So I don't want I, like there's a there's a place for athletic, smart bigs that can roll to the rim, that can pass well, which Oso can do like nobody's business. This kid has a spot here, and it wouldn't shock me if at some point this season he's the starting center for the Phoenix Suns because of the kind of things he can do with the ball that will help the big three in ways that uh, that Nurk wasn't able to. Plus, I love him because he's a Chandler kid, and he mm-hmm. went to Marquette. And I'm a Chandler kid who went to Marquette. Yeah, so you know what? <laughs> he's got to be good people. So as – as it comes with every single draft pick, but especially second round draft picks, there mm-hmm. are going to be some weaknesses and some areas of growth and development. And Oso is no different. He is technically slightly undersized for a center. And one of the things that I think that you're going to need from him a lot in the first year or two of him being an NBA player is he's going to need to bulk up. He's going to need to find more yeah. grown man strength to be okay. able to hang with some of these older, more, uh, physical guys yeah. in the league. And that is one area that he'll he's going to have to put a lot of focus on. Yeah, he's going to have to work at that. But the athleticism is there, the right. IQ is there, and the skill is there. Now, I'm going to I'm going to encourage you to go back, do your homework, watch the Yukon game I'm talking about. Hey Eric, uh who was the center for Yukon on that team? Klingon. Klingon. What did he go in the draft? Was he 7 to He Portland? went 7. Uh that kid 7-3. And I promise you, go watch the tape. This guy has a way of understanding how to use his body. He was putting his shoulder into Clint and backing him down and hitting the baby hook. Okay, that's the seventh pick in the NBA draft. That's a guy that people think is going to be a star in the NBA draft. And when you want to talk about body, there aren't too many centers in the league that are going to have the body that Donovan Clinton got, right? 7'3", oh. two, what, 50, two, four. I mean, this guy's massive. And Oso was out there putting in work against that guy on the biggest stage in college basketball. And so that gives me hope that when he gets to the pro level, to Lindsey's point, if he actually does put a little bit more strength on, which he will in the NBA training and conditioning program, Mm -hmm. and and bulks up just a little bit, man, this kid could be scary. I will tell you one thing. Offense and defensively reminds me of Draymond Green. Minus the attitude and all the other, you know, side stuff. When you watch him on offense and defense, his IQ reminds me a lot of a guy like Dream You know how much I like him? Talk to me. I'm selling property at Oso Inlet. Come on out. <laughs> get your get your waterfront property. I'm buying into this kid. I love he it. is my you got your sweet baby angel. I got my property I'm selling. <laughs> Come on by Oso, Oso Inlet, baby. Oso Outlook? Oh. No. Just or you can get off my corner, Eric. My bad. I'm just trying to help you out in your corner, man. I mean, yeah, facts. But Brian's been pushing, calling him the Valley Bear because Oso in Spanish is bear. So oh, that's you might facts. have a fun nickname. That's facts. You might have the a bear. fun name, nickname for Oso. Yeah, kind of like that. There you go. I like it. Um, but it is really exciting for him to be joining his hometown sons, of course. And he spoke about that last night as well. Man, it was amazing. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, I can't explain it. Yeah, it means everything. Grew up in Arizona. I love Arizona. I'm super excited to get to work. A winner, hard worker, uh, someone who's versatile, plays both ends of the floor, great teammate, a uh, great person. Uh, I want to win. I want to try to go there, hopefully win an NBA championship. I know that's what the organization wants and the city wants, so I'm excited to work towards that. I like how when they ask, because I'm assuming the question they asked him right there was, what do you, what do you want Suns fans to know about who you are? as a person or just who you are. And he said, great teammate, great person. I think those kind of things do matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you want to have good guys on your squad. And it feels like with all three of these guys that the Suns were able to pick up over the last two days, they all have a, a little bit of that. Like he seems like a really good dude. Yes. Kind of vibe to them. Great characters. Mm-hmm. That's what I got. And I'll tell you about Oso's character. This is a high school kid that's being recruited by major programs in the country. And there are schools that uh, were promising minutes. We're saying, yeah, we promise you this, we promise you that. And, and as a young man, he was knowledgeable to say, if you're promising me minutes, I probably shouldn't go play there. Yeah. Because you shouldn't promise me anything. Shouldn't I, should I work, earn it? I should earn it, right? I don't see guys. I've been around high school, high division one athletes my whole life. You just don't see that. That's not normal. And then, can I give you one last tease about Arizona? Mm-hmm. There was 
I don't want to say which Arizona school. Don't okay? say it. Not going to say which Arizona school, but a Arizona college wanted Oso. And they called him up and said, hey, man, you had a great game last weekend. Right? And he goes, yeah, which one? And the, and the coach couldn't tell him. Mm. And he said, Uh-oh. that just meant that the coach was not saying the truth. Right. And couldn't show that he was there. So he decided that wasn't the right school for him. This kid gets it, man. He's a he's a quality young man that gets it. And it's like, I, I, I can't I can't speak enough about the quality of person this, this kid is. Yeah.